Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome you all guys. Thank you for tuning in. Um, I do have a few stories I want to share it with you. Um, sister Iman, she's got two posts. One, I will reveal it today. And the second one is update. I will reveal it tomorrow. Is they both related anyway. Sister Iman said here, Assalamu alaikum. I just want to share with you my uh, story with Surat al-Baqarah. Um, last year, I, um, I had uh, COVID. Um, actually, all my family had it. And uh, unfortunately, they all passed away, except of my, my mom and myself. Um, I was really um, sad that time. Also, I got a lot of side effects. And um, I, be I became parallel. I couldn't really move. I couldn't really move. So I kept reading Surat al-Baqarah, reciting Surat al-Baqarah every day. And uh, I make the Rood Ibrahim. Uh, she said exactly... Salah ala nabi. It may be the short one or the Rud Ibrahim, whatever. She didn't mention here exactly, but she said Salah ala nabi. It means uh, she prayed to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And uh, I, I got a kind, kind of miracles happened. Uh, I start to move my body after this pallor thing. Um, I, I, will, I became able to, to walk and move and I was so happy. Uh, also, I've been reading um, Al-Fatiha seven times on water and drink the water. Um, Surat al-Baqarah uh, was really uh, my cure to, you know, to to calm me down after my dad passed away with Corona. Um, I was so sad and uh, the the only way was Surat al-Baqarah and uh, I kept reciting, I kept reciting it and it calms me, calmed me down. So uh, she said, um, I just advise everyone to read it. Um, she said also... I co uh, yeah something here she said a really b bit different she said everyone was look at me and he said oh you turned you're so beautiful what happened um if corona covid make people so pretty like that and b people even was wearing my mask most of the time and t people said you something changed in you you look pretty mashallah you look beautiful and she said no it's not a corona make uh, made me that and just uh Surat al-Baqarah, make a noor from my face come out. That's why you guys see me as uh, a good looking or something. And um, also, uh, she advised people to read Surat al-Baqarah. But now she said, um, I quoted Corona again for the second time. And I done the test and um, my doctor assured that I have it again for the second time. But this time I wasn't really quite stressed about it. I said, okay, uh, I will again Re recite Surah Al-Baqarah and Al-Fatiha seven times in water and uh, the Rood Ibrahim. Inshallah, I'll be fine this time. Not really stressed because I know the I know how to deal with that situation this time. Um, and she said, "Well, I'm going to update with you uh, what happened with me for the second time, but um, for time being, um, I'm just highly recommended for you um, to." Read and recite Surah Al-Baqarah uh, daily if you can. That was the first story I have. Um, I don't know if I talked before about the ants. Uh, one of the lady Hiba, she was stay saying she's got ants and uh, she tried everything to rid of the ants. And um, finally she read Surah Al-Baqarah and then all the ants run away from the house. That was a, one of the stories. I got one more here. Uh, brother Saad, he said, Assalamu alaikum. Um, I've been suffering from the black magic and I decided to read Surah Al-Baqarah twice daily. One in the morning and one the, um, before I sleep. And Alhamdulillah, all the, I read of all the shaitan, the jinn, is just run away, f f run away from my body. And um, I cured, I completely cured from this sihr, black magic. And he said, Alhamdulillah, Wallahu Akbar, Wa la ilaha illallah, Muhammadur Rasulullah. I assume, um, yeah, I have other sister, she said here, um, I want to share with you guys my story of my friend and her sister, her friend and her sister. She said they, one of them is 35 years old and the other, her sister is 36 and they will never get married and then they decided to read Surah Al-Baqarah and to make sadaqah and make a dua charity and make a dua and they all uh they both of both of them just got married uh and they both get married to someone uh well off not rich but well off uh, 
and they married to someone who never married before, a single person. And just read Surah Al-Baqarah. What else I do have? What else I do have? Yeah, depression. I, I've been suffering from depression and I've, I've been crying a lot. And then I can hear voices. Um, and then uh, I, I wake my, my sister and I, told, I keep telling her that I feel like I'm dying. I feel like I'm dying. I'm crying. I feel scared. I feel terrifying. And then um, she advised one of my friends. Um, Allah sent these friends to tell me read Surah Al-Baqarah. Like exactly Allah sent me guys to tell you read Surah Al-Baqarah. The same. She said one of, Allah sent me one of my friends to advise me to read Surah Al-Baqarah. To read of this kind of fairness. So she said um, she just encouraged me to, to read Surah Al-Baqarah every single day. Um, I, well, and I go to hospital, uh, take vitamins and... And to, to just uh, maybe I have deficient, the deficient, deficiency, deficiency of anything. Uh, and the, the doctor gave me three medicine. Uh, I just changed my habit in eating uh, my diet. Um, he gave me medicine and changed my diet. And I do some uh, gymnastic uh, and Surah Al-Baqarah. Uh, I'll, I'll never sleep before reading Surah Al-Baqarah. And Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. I, I managed to rid of my anxiety. And Allah, Allah well that I came back to my life nicely. And uh, I, I never get bad, like uh, bad ideas or stuff like that to scare me anymore. And uh, I, I just want to give advice to everyone to keep read Surah Al-Baqarah. And you can just, you can, you can check, the, check with the doctor as well, the psychiatrist sometimes. Um, and to do like um, anti anti depression, not a medicine, anti depression uh, exercises, uh, which I don't know what is it, but sh this is what exactly what she said. And then um, she said uh, I highly recommend it to read Surah Al Baqarah with a kind of um, you can hear your voice when you read it, not silent. This is what she advised, and this is what I advise um, as well. If you read Surah Al-Baqarah, try to not read silent. Guys, try to make a little bit of voice. At least you hear your voice when you pronounce the letters. You need to hear the pronunciation. Because the, the, there is a frequency. There is a frequency when you, when you read. Um, and then said, read it with a, with a little bit of loud voice and you will see the difference. Uh, inshallah, you will get a cure if you have kind of a, anxiety. That was a story for today. Do you have anything else? Um, uh, yes, one more story. One of the ladies, she said, um, I, I engaged to someone. Uh, he's my son of my father's uh, friend. I really don't like the guy much. And I start to recite Surah Al-Baqarah. Then everyone liked the guy. And he wanted me to, to carry on in this kind of um, you know engagement. But uh, somehow, when I read Surah Al-Baqarah... Um, uh, the engagement just uh, the break. They couldn't. The, the the lady couldn't carry on with that. Mm. She said the guy wasn't really good enough, uh, and it was just a break nicely without any hassle. Um, yeah, that was the stories for the day. I hope you guys uh, did enjoy it with me, and I hope you did encouraged. And please, please, um, just share the idea with people. Not share the video. You just need to share the idea. When you see someone in a, in a like a difficult time or financially struggling or uh, they have kind of uh, problems, issues, just try to advise to advise him to read Surah Al-Baqarah and to, to carry on reading it. Not only once or for 40 days or... Uh, this kind of stuff. You guys have to, to make it kind of daily, your daily routine. You have to read Surah Al-Baqarah. You can split it, you know, throughout the day. Or you can just read it in once and in one uh, one go. Or you can just split it three in, in three days, four days, one week, but not more than one week. You see the front. If you are patient and if you are a believer, 
if you are very very believer and you can you tell that everything will gonna be changed inshallah everything will gonna be changed but if you doubt in it is not gonna you're not gonna because you doubt allah's word not you doubting surah al-baqarah itself you doubt allah's word allah said quran is a cure for everything when you doubt it okay if i read surah al-baqarah well can i get children can i it's not can i it's about you do your best and leave the rest for allah to work it out for you you do your best some people said okay i don't have a children and if, do you think if i read surah al-baqarah allah will give me is not i think it is not what you want or what i want it's about what allah want he asked you to do your best if he accepted he accepted if it's not is not so but you do your best because now we you you guys thinking only about the situation now the, the, the now the lifetime we live in now you not think about the hereafter now for example i don't have a children and okay so what i'm not here only to have a children i'm here to worship allah so if allah didn't give me permission to have a children but i do recite surah al-baqarah i get like quarter a million every day quarter a million hasanat every day every single day just is, is enough this is more than enough for me whether i get it or not and then believe as well if someone just struggle a little bit in having kids remember prophet zakaria repeat his dua you guys repeat rabbi la tadharni fardan wa anta khayru al warithin prophet zakaria salam allah gave him a kids when he was 80 plus and his wife was barren as well he's um, barren and then uh, uh, prophet ibrahim salam he got ishmael first ismail and isaac ishaq he, he was over 80 as well so when you feel your, yourself like depressed or disappointed okay i'm, I'm being married for 100 years and uh, i couldn't get a children my husband has my i have this kind of stuff remember the prophet he delayed and he's a prophet he delayed allah make a delay to give us an example we we need to learn from uh, prophet prophetical stories we need to learn from quran quran stories it's not just to read and that's it no we we have to analyze the story that this prophet delay in in having zakaria alayhi salam he got yahya alayhi salam he when he was 80 so if allah gives zakaria when he was 80 then allah can give me as well but i have to do my best once you do your best and your your respond is delayed this is not your responsibility because it's up according to allah what you need you need to have a hope severe hope you have to stick with your hope that inshallah i will get i will get the children inshallah allah will give me allah will give me the husband allah will give me the children stick with your hope do not lose your hope do not become disappointed disappointed will delay it so just okay if allah want to give me whatever i want okay that's just higher from allah this is good from allah if he if he's not if he's not well for that if he won't not want me to have a children right now or maybe later on it's okay this is Allah's well he knows the best guys you have to understand it's not about what you want sometimes is that about is it good for you or no allah is his advanced knowledge he knows if he give you this child is good for you or is no good for you but just ask and do your best one of your duty is to make a dua one of duty is to make a stighfar one of your duty to read quran this is your duty whether you get the stuff or not this is part of your worshiping this is part of your your mission in this earth whether you got what you want or not you have to do it so do it and ask allah to give you the better ask allah always to give you the, the best thing possible the best thing possible exist ask allah to give it to you and do your best and do not wait for the result said okay allah will give me what whatever good for me it's not okay i read surah al-baqarah and i haven't got a children right now it's not okay just can you give me um for how long i have to read surah al-baqarah guys in order to to be a pregnant or i cannot tell you i cannot just tell you for how long you know what allah only knows for how long and do not just put conditions i'm gonna read it maybe for one year if i don't if i don't have a good children or a good a nice husband or a good a nice job then i quit no this is no kind of belief you are not a good muslim then you are dealing or blackmailing with allah okay you're not gonna play blackmail with allah okay i'm gonna pray for you for one year in order to give me if you're not giving me what i want then i will give up it's not like that if you have this intention you will never have you will never have anything you're gonna lose both you're gonna lose your recitation you're your reciting or you whatever you do and you're gonna lose as well the, the thing you ask it for because you are blackmailing allah you're not trusting allah you just to, i'm gonna do this in order for allah to give me that 
not because I love Allah and I want Allah to love me back and I want to do this to, to make Allah happy and then he, he will reward me. This is the point. I will do, read Surah Al-Baqarah because I want Allah to accept it, to give me blessing in my life and he want to reward me with something better. This is a mentality or this is an idea. This is, from this point, you have to work. Not blackmailing, okay? I'm going to read Surah Al-Baqarah for 40 days. And if I haven't got the stuff I want, I'll quit. You never get it. Believe me, you never get it. Because you put a, you put a law in trial and this is no good. You try Allah. <laughs> this is not good. Allah is not for trial. Allah is for trust. Not for trial. You trust the process. I trust Allah. Inshallah, he will give me a kid. Inshallah, he will, Allah will make me happy. He will give me the, the, the job I'm looking for. Allah will make me happy. He'll give me a husband I'm looking for. Everything will, 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 be, will be on place. Yeah, you need to think in a positive way, not in a negative way, in order to get what you want. That will help you to speed up the process and to make a good relationship with God. Because once you do a good relation with God, your whole entire life will completely going to be changed. And believe me, because this is from my experience, guys. Cecily, it's from my experience. So please trust me and trust the process and, and advise people to recite Surah Al-Baqarah, Surah Yaseen, Surah Al-Waqi'ah. All this surah is good. Plus, you have to, 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 to finish to complete Quran, you know, quite often. Maybe every month or maybe every two months. Once you finish, you have to start Quran again. Do not just rely upon Surah Al-Baqarah and say, okay, this is Quran itself. No, no. Surah Al-Baqarah is a part of the Quran, not the whole Quran. You have to, as a Muslim, you have to read the whole Quran. Do not leave it from Ramadan to the next Ramadan. No, no, no. This is a big mistake. People fall in this. So you have to be careful. You need to carry on reading your Surah Al-Baqarah. You need to put an effort. You need to put an effort to read Quran, the whole Quran. And the whole Quran itself, it is a barakah. It is a blessing. So try to read a little bit every day, a little bit. Once you finish the whole Quran, complete the whole Quran, start again from beginning and start again from beginning and so on and so on. It's just like barakah in your life. The more you read, the more barakah, the more blessing it will come into your life and you will realize it. You will feel it. You will feel it. But give, a, give yourself from one to three years. Give yourself from one to three years. Sometimes you're going to find an innocent result and sometimes it takes a little bit of time. So you have to be patient and expect the good stuff to come to your way. Patient and good expectation. This is the key. To be patient and to have a good expectation, expectation, this is the key for successful. To be successful, this is the key for succeed in life. Because Allah asked us to be patient. Allah asked us to trust him. So we share this story not to just have fun or to just have to, enter, to, to entertain ourselves. No, this is a real story from real people. These are real people like us they having an issue in their life. And they, they, they came closer to Allah. They asked Allah change my life i need you I, I need you god to my life i i i have i've tried everything i can do now i cannot do anything more i just have to come back to you you are now the helper and supporter you are the, you are the only helper and supporter remember guys also when you when you make a dua first dua is really important the, you have at least to make like 20 minutes every single day for a dua this is one point Se se second one you have to use one of allah's names uh, Ar Razzaq, the sustainable, the, any, any name is matching your situation. Something is matching your situation. So uh, if you want the kids, if you want the money, if you want anything like that, if you want heaven, ask Allah for, for, for mercy. Ar Rahman, Ar Rahim, ask Allah for mercy to give you the heaven, to give you Firdaus Allah. Yeah, so you ask Him by His names. We, we know 99 names. Check in in your language. I, I don't know, guys. Um, but anyway, I, I was asked. Just tell me where are, where are if you where are you from? Where are you watching? We are following. I'm always happy that to see people, new people from everywhere in in the world. That makes me really re really encouraged to carry on in in these videos. Um, you can just write it down below and welcome you all from everywhere. Welcome you from every from my deep heart. You welcome you all. You really really made my day. Um, making money i don't know grammar anyway but the thing is um 
as I said, dua 20 minutes. Stick with your dua for 20 minutes. Use one of Allah's name. Ya Razak, Ya Razak, Ya Razak, Ya Razak. Sustainable, sustainable. Merciful, mercy, mercy. Have mercy. Ar Rahman, Ar Rahim. Uh, Al Wahab, the one he gave up, the one he gave, gave you. Um, Wahab for children. Use Ar Razak and Al Wahab when you have a children. For money, Al Wasa, Al Basit, Al Basit, Al Wasa. Wasa is massive. Basit, the one he gave in a certain way. So make, make the stuff wasa, it means make it massive, widen it, something like that. Sometimes it's very hard to translate, but um, just find it this way. Um, for children, al-wahab, al-razaq, for money, for job, uh, and as well for marriage. Marriage and children, we have the same thing, istighfar, and one of Allah's names, and dua. We got al-wahab, al-razaq, for marriage and children. You got for money, al-wasa, al-basit, in al-mu'ti, al-aati, al-ghani, al-mughni, Allah the most richest, rich. Al-ghani, al-ghani, al-mughni, al-ghani, al-mughni. This is for money, uh, money-wise. So try to find out more of Allah's names. You do your own research, and you can guys could tell me next time what you found, or uh, you try one of them and see, tell us about your experience in that. Um, but f for my knowledge, for money is uh, Al-Razaq, al Al-Wahab, al Al-Mu'ti, al wasa Al-Basit, Al-Mughni, Al-Ghani. Maybe you can repeat it 100 times each, uh, or as much as you can. Because really, I, I really don't like, okay, um, you can just do it for 40 times. Uh, you can, because I don't want to, you know, to, to, to apply my own experience to everyone. I just want to encourage. So if I do it 100 times, you can do it 1,000 times. You can do it, I don't know, 10,000 times. Allah al-Razzaq al-Razzaq 10,000 times. I don't know. Just uh, do not apply other people's experience in your life. So one of the sisters just uh, commented in one of the videos and she said, okay, um, one of the guys, he said, I want two kids. So I repeat, Rabbi, let us earn you fardan wa khair wa seen 40 times after in sujood. Guys, this is a trial. This is a, the, he done it. He, by experiment so do not take it as it is maybe Allah accepted from him when he done it this way maybe if you do it Allah will not accept it maybe you need to do more he did it 40 times of dua Rabbi let us earn you dua Prophet Zakaria maybe you can do it 100 times it's not necessary what 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 people do by numbers it apply for you to, it will it, it's gonna work the same way it works with them with you I've tried stuff. People said I've read Surat ad duha I don't know how many times I've, I've tried Surat ad duha and it doesn't work at all. My friend, okay, I read Surat Al-Baqarah seven times in seven seven times a day daily in seven days. You something miracle happened. I've done it. Miracle happened with her. Miracle doesn't happen with me. But however, if I done it only once, I got miracles in my life. I don't need to read it seven times. So do not apply when someone tell you numbers. I really not believe in numbers. But I said, okay, big numbers make a different. Make a miracles so and instead of saying istighfar 100 times if you didn't if you do it 1000 times or 10000 times it will make a different depend 10000 times is different for 1000 is different from 100 you get different stuff when you do istighfar with big number so do not listen that okay do that for 40 times or do this dua for 40 no 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 do your own way your relation with allah is something very very special very special try to do effort the more effort you do the more changing life you will see you, the more stuff you will get in your life the you will see the situation is completely different we are different your fingers is different we we don't have the we all see your finger your own hand they have different fingers so imagine people maybe this person done this dua for 20 times Allah accepted one maybe i do it 200 times maybe Allah accepted for me the more you, you do it, the more you will get a change in your life. We are different from me, from you, from person to person. We are different. Allah, Allah makes us different. Makes us different. So from this point, everyone has to do his effort in, who, in his own way. The number is for you. The numbers is for you. How, you, how many you repeat istighfar, how many you say durood, how many you make a dua is for you to decide, not for me. To tell you, you have to do 100 times daily. No. What I can say, you guys do istighfar with big number. You guys read Surah Al-Baqarah. So to read it in one day, to read it in, uh, to split it in few days, or to read it seven times a day, it's up to you. It's not about I telling you. Do not program yourself. Do not program yourself, guys. You don't need to, 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 
to go through a program. You have to do this certain amount of time. You have to do this once uh, certain. No, it's up to you. Do I like to do istighfar more than the rood? I, I do the rood and I do la hawla wa la quwata illa, but I like istighfar more. This is what I like. This is what I feel. It's not necessary to be the same. Some people, they do the rood with big number, more, more than the istighfar, and the, the, the whole entire life has been changed. Well, whatever you feel, because it's, it's the re very, very close relationship. It's different relationship between you, between you and Allah. It's not kind of like um, a copy-paste. Rania, do this, everyone will do the same. No, it's not a copy-paste. It's for you to decide what you, how to do it, how many you have to do it. As, as long as you, you got the, the intuition from your heart. Yeah, follow your heart. You need to follow your heart. Okay, the video now is really, really long. I'm sorry for that, but I hope you guys watch it up till the end. And inshallah, I will update with the sister with the corona because I, she got corona for the second time. I will update maybe tomorrow or after. And then keep motivated. Inshallah, you will achieve whatever you want. You will achieve your... You need to repeat it actually, maybe after me. I will achieve, inshallah, what I want. I will achieve what I want. I, I will achieve what I want. If it's good for me, is it? If, if if Allah knows that is good for me, it will come to me. I believe that Allah will will make me happy one day. I believe that inshallah I will be happy one day. I will achieve whatever I ask it for with the grace of Allah. Yeah. And assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We'll see you again inshallah. Your sister in Islam, Rania al-Jindi. Assalamu alaikum.